Hi everyone, it's Hasim Sultan with Remax here in Vancouver and in today's video we're going to talk about the benefits of buying a pre-sale unit here in Vancouver. So uh, before we get into the benefits, let's uh, sort of revisit the definition of a pre-sale. So as we've mentioned in our, in our previous video, pre-sale is essentially you buying a property from a developer. Uh, that property might not have been built yet or it could be in the process of being built or even newly built. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let's dive into the benefits. So the first benefit is essentially you're buying something that's brand new. So there's an element of, you know, uh, you're buying something that's shiny, new, has not been occupied. So that does uh, matter to uh, some buyers out there. The second reason is you're getting the home warranty protection, which is two five ten warranty. So the way it works is you have two years on labor, five years on the uh, on the envelope of the building, and then ten years uh, structural warranty. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this two year. Uh, labor warranty is actually limited so it's only limited to 12 months for units uh, for defects that are within the unit in a, in a strata building and then 15 months for common areas within a strata building so think about the lobbies uh, elevators uh, those things but you do have that warranty nonetheless the third benefit of uh, buying a pre-sale unit is uh, essentially customization so when you go to a presentation center, the developer will likely give you two to three options to choose from. Uh, not only that, but sometimes in some cases, uh, you might have the ability to combine certain units or to make adjustments to the floor plan. So that is uh, a third benefit. The fourth benefit of buying pre-sale in Vancouver is having that flexible deposit payment. So what usually happens is you as a buyer, you might be required to pay anywhere between 15 and 20%. Uh, that depends on the project and the developer. But let's just say it's 20% and uh, let's say the project is not complete until uh, let's say the end of 2025, so maybe three years from now. Uh, you might be required to pay uh, those payments or those installments over the period of maybe a year to a year and a half uh, where you might be paying only 5%, let's say for, for instance, maybe uh, within seven days uh, of acceptance and then another 5% maybe in six months time and then another 5% maybe after six months from the second deposit and there might be a further 5% maybe at the 18 month mark. Uh, so you have some flexibility there that you don't have to actually come up with the entire deposit upfront. So the fifth benefit of buying pre-sale, going back to our scenario there or example of a project that's going to uh, complete by the end of 2025, let's say you've made all those payments over the period of a year and a half maybe for the deposit and you still have another year or year and a half until the until the project is complete so from the time you've signed that offer you've got an accepted offer until the time that the project is completed there's no mortgage payments so essentially you don't have to make any monthly mortgage payments uh, you don't have uh, any sort of uh, financial obligation during that period of time the sixth benefit of buying pre-sale is uh essentially having the, seeing that appreciation in a rising market. So uh, by the time the building is completed, let's say three or four years out, uh, depending on where the market has been or where the market has sort of uh, seen in terms of uh, appreciation, uh, because you are technically in the market by having that contract uh, between you and the developer and having that right to close on that property. If the, let's say if the market has gone up five or 10% by the time that the project is completed, then you'll see that appreciation if you choose to uh, uh, either even sell or even even keep the property because you're going to have it as an unrealized gain. This ties into the seventh benefit of buying pre-sale in Vancouver, which is the ability to assign the contract before the completion date. So let's say uh, let's say you've paid all the deposit payments, and let's say the let's say the project completes in about six to twelve months, and the market since the time you've uh, you've secured that uh, contract. Uh, let's say it's gone up another five or ten percent so you've seen sort of a, a lift essentially but still unrealized but if you do choose to uh, to uh, to assign that contract and sell it before the time of completion uh, then you have the ability to uh, to do so however there are a few things that I want you to keep in mind obviously on the way in when you're buying that pre-sale unit your your agent should uh, should obviously check uh, and double check also with the developer that they're going to be able to actually first first of all assign the the contract okay and then understand all the restrictions of the conditions and the second thing is to uh, be uh, privy to the uh, to the assignment fees. So what we've seen is developers might say, okay, we'll allow you to assign the contract, but it's going to come at a fee of maybe two to three uh, percent. Again, that really depends, and it's going to be stipulated in the contract that you sign uh, at the first stage. Uh, third thing to keep in mind when it comes to restrictions is uh, some developers might have the restriction of, you know, they might tell you, okay, well, we can let you assign it, but you will, you're you're not going to be able to uh, to list it on the MLS, for instance. So therefore, you're not going to have as much exposure. So it might you know take a little bit longer uh, to sell 
So this brings us to the eighth benefit of buying pre-sale in Vancouver, which is having a seven day rescission period. So here in BC, we have something called REDMA or Real Estate Development Marketing Act, which uh, gives the buyer uh, of a pre-sale unit uh, the right to rescind uh, the contract or rescind the offer within seven days of acceptance or the receipt of the disclosure statement. So because obviously you're not buying something that's tangible, the product in most cases is not even built. Uh, so you have that seven day rescission period for you to read over the contract, read over the disclosure statement, uh, consult with your family and other professionals, uh, get other people's opinions if you choose to. And then if you choose not to go ahead with the contract or with the, with the deal, then you could definitely do that within the seven days uh, that you have uh, uh, by law. The final benefit of buying pre-sale is essentially that you would be moving into a strata that uh, doesn't have a lot of restrictions when it comes to rentals or pets. It's essentially in a clean slate and you just have uh, maybe a template of, of standard bylaws, uh, but you don't uh, see those restrictions that you might encounter uh, if you were to buy into an older building, for instance. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. These are all the points, uh, all the uh, benefits that I wanted to highlight in this in this video. And if you have any questions or thinking about buying a uh, pre-sale unit, feel free to reach out to us. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and we'll try our best to respond to your questions and uh, potentially uh, address those questions in future videos.